Welcome to Living Room Theater. My name is Kesa and I am super excited to make some theater with you today. So today we are going to play a game simply titled Get Across the Floor. This is my cat. This game is one of my absolute favorite games because it helps you practice one of the most important skills that you need to become a theater maker. This skill is quite simply belief. Whether you're an actor, a designer, a director, or anyone else in the theater world, it is really important to practice belief. We have to believe in the story that we're telling so that the audience can believe it. When we go on stage as an actor, we have to believe that we really are the character that we are playing. If we believe it, the audience will believe it. I know it might seem pretty easy, but belief can actually be really tricky. It's something that you have to keep practicing as you go on studying theater. We're really good at it when we're younger. We play make-believe, we make up games, we imagine all of these different circumstances that we could be living in. And we have to keep doing that as we get older so that when we go on stage, we can really easily believe in the circumstances of the play. So let's get up on our feet, make sure that you have a lot of space to move in, and let's have some fun playing with the idea of belief. So how this game is going to work is I am going to give you a prompt or a circumstance that you have to believe in and then try to get across the floor believing that. So I'll do the first few with you. The first circumstance is crazy because a huge volcano just erupted and we have to get across the floor jumping to avoid the lava before it burns us. All right? Ready, set, go! Great job. All right, your next circumstance to get across the floor in is something has gone terribly wrong with the gravitational pull of the planet. And for some reason, gravity just isn't really working. So we kind of are floating around and trying to stay on the ground and not float up into the sky. So get across the room as carefully as you can without going up into the clouds, all right? Get ready, get across the floor. All right, wonderful job. Now I'm gonna give you a few more and I'm actually going to leave the camera so that you can get across the floor with these circumstances and imagine what it would be like without my influence. So the next one is we are famous and very popular ballerinas. We are extremely talented and this is our debut performance. So get across the floor like you are a famous dancer. Take it away. All right, now you are slithery, poisonous, scary snakes. So try to get across the floor as menacingly as you possibly can. Go for it. Great job. Your next circumstance is that something very strange has happened because when you woke up and went outside, you see jello, fully formed jello, up to your waist everywhere. So try and get across the floor with that jello. All right, now the floor is covered in quicksand. 
If you wait too long in any moment, you're gonna sink down, all right? So really carefully, get across the floor. Now, there's a meteor shower, and asteroids are falling down all around us, so you have to get across the floor without getting hit. Go! All right, for your final circumstance, there is a lot of freshly laid cement that's still wet, but hardening. So try to get across the floor without getting stuck. Go! All right, great job everyone. You survived those circumstances. We're going to move on now, but remember to always play games like this so that you can keep practicing your sense of belief. Great work. Thank you so much for making some living room theater today with me. My name is Kesa, and if you had fun today, go ahead and visit our website, www.theangelicaplayers.com, for more information about our future programming. Finally, from my living room to yours, let's make some theater.